up everybody, TFA 1024, the Transformers Addict, coming to you with uh, another new video segment that I like to call Spotlight Shoutouts. In this video segment, I decide to dedicate a video based to you guys to get, help you get some shoutouts, um, subscribers and everything, and um, really just kind of get you guys out there on YouTube, and also kind of just to be generous in a way, and also as a thank you for every one of you guys subscribing. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool, uh, and if you guys want a shout out, um, please be sure to hit me up down in the comment section down below if you want one, much like how the birthday videos work. Uh, except all I really need to know is if you just want one, and I'll just tell you the YouTube about your channel and everything. Um, but this one is to a friend of mine, uh, he was currently in one of my late pro uh, latest projects, uh, Transformers Infinite Chaos' audio prequel, and he voiced uh, Wreckage and Bone Crusher, which uh, was really awesome, and I was very glad to have him aboard, because he did a great Cybertronian speech, as well as uh, Wreckage, kind of having that little gravelly kind of voice, which is really cool. So I'm very pleased about that, and I was very happy to have him involved with that project. And he will be reprising those roles in Transformers Infinite Chaos, as well as um, he'll be part of Transformers Combiner Origins, which will be out very, very soon. I just got to finish filming um, but yeah, so he recently made his first ever YouTube video, and also gained six subscribers, which is very interesting, because he didn't have anything on his channel, but hey, what are you gonna do? Um, so, I want to congratulate him personally for making, having, making his first ever YouTube video, because I kind of had to push him. Because he has a tablet, he can make videos and everything, and, you know, I know it's scary to put your first video up on YouTube. I mean, I was scared when I was, you know, younger and I decided to do videos. And, um, now that I started to get the basics and everything of making videos and how to edit and everything, I've just, I've kind of evolved, I guess. Uh, and so has he. Even though he did his first one, he, he just, he's trying to get out there on YouTube, trying to be part of projects and everything, and it works, and... It's very nice that he wants to be out there, very cool that he wants to be out there. He's a very awesome guy. Uh, a really good personal friend of mine. Uh, I've known him for quite a few months now, and honestly, I'm very pleased to have him in my life and have him as my friend, which is really cool. Um, so, I'm not sure if he asked me for tips or not. I think he did. Uh, so, here are my tips for you, Alex, of what you need to do on your YouTube channel. Number one. Uh, instead of having your real life name be used, be sure to change it to something a little more unique and creative for your own personal tastes. Um, to give you a little, ta uh, to give you a little history, I was originally going to be called Michael Davis 1024. That didn't really work for me, and honestly, I was a little uncomfortable to sign the name of my channel of that because, eh, it just didn't work. And so, one day I decided, why not decide to change my YouTube name to something a little more different? So then I became TF, lowercase a, 1024, because I never knew how to change my YouTube name. And what it originally was going to be called was just TFA 1024. I never knew what I was going to use a TFA for, and I didn't know what I was going to use it for. So then it hit me one day, I just decided, you know, I've heard of the plastic addict and everything why not become the Transformers Addict, and thus my name and my YouTube channel was officially born, which was really cool. Um, so yeah, number one, change your name and make sure, you know, it's very unique and creative, and I'm pretty sure you can do that because you come up with a lot of cool stuff. The next thing I want to tell you is be sure to be consistent with your content, because consistency really gets you out there on YouTube. You search up your name or any videos, I'm pretty sure yours are going to come up. And I'm guarantee you, if I look up a video review on Optimus Prime for Platinum Edition, he's going to be the first thing probably I'll see in that whole list of videos so far. So, so there are my two tips for you right there. Change your YouTube name to something a little bit more creative, and be consistent. The third thing I want to tell you is that you need to not be afraid of rejection, because I know it's a hard thing to do, and it's easier said than done, but honestly, rejection means nothing. If you don't, if you lose a subscriber, it, that person just mean that means just one person left, and you know it's not really that big a deal because I had a few subscribers leave me a few times, and they 
I gained more as time progressed, and, you know, it just, it really doesn't matter. They're just, they're really just numbers of people who happen to like your stuff. And really, if one person doesn't like your stuff, it doesn't mean the world's going to end. So, you know, there are my three tips for you so far. The fourth thing I want to tell you is don't limit yourself on what you're going to do on your YouTube channel. Because I started off as a Transformer video reviewer, and then I decided to do some more stuff. I decided to start gaming, live streaming, stop motion, all kinds of that awesome stuff. And it's working for me. It's working in my favor. And, um... I think it's all I can give for tips. So, change your YouTube name to something more creative. No offense, dude. Uh-huh. Be consistent. Uh, don't be afraid of rejection. Uh-huh. Don't limit yourself on your YouTube channel. And... What was it? Oh, I think it was... Oh, also one more. Just Actually, I think it was the last one. Be yourself, dude. Just be yourself, because that's all you really can do. You can't expect to be another Markiplier or another MGO316 or anyone, like anyone else. You can only be yourself. And it, there's nothing wrong with being yourself. Being you is what makes you unique and special. It's what makes you, you. So, there are my tips for you. Change your YouTube name. Be consistent. Um, I'm trying to remember my own tips again. So, be your... Change your YouTube name. Be consistent. Be yourself. Don't be afraid of rejection. And, you know, don't be afraid to record. Just do what you gotta do, man. There's nothing wrong with it. If you want it, I mean, there's nothing to be afraid of. And also, don't worry about dislikes or anything like that, because dislikes just say, oh, I disliked your video, you don't tell me why or what I need to improve. They just, they're pointless. Honestly, I honestly feel like the dislike button is nothing, just, it's too negative. Because, I mean, really, I don't even understand why that's an option, so I honestly think I should get rid of it. But, um, yeah, so congratulations on six subscribers, and congratulations on making your first ever YouTube video, dude. Really proud of you, and I can't work, wait to work with you on Infinite Chaos, as well as Combiner Origins. That's gonna be fun. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. So, guys, as always, if you happen to like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more of my awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, TFA1024, The Transformers Addict. And if you just want to chat with me, or if you want to let me know what you thought about my videos, please hit me up down in the comment section below. And once again, if you want your own personalized spotlight shout-out video, again, hit me up down in the comment section below. Also, be sure to go check out Alex Pick. He is a really awesome guy. And I really think he just, he deserves to kind of get out there on YouTube. So, in any way, shape, or form, give him the advice he needs. You know, go subscribe to his channel, even if he just has one video. Just show him the YouTube love and, you know, make him feel like he's part of YouTube. And hey guys, one more quick little thing before I officially end this video. I just want to apologize for any stuttering or any, uh, you know, blank thoughts or any silence or errors I made within the video. Uh, I know... Not everyone can be perfect, but I honestly feel like I need to apologize for my past mistakes and, uh, regarding videos and everything. Uh, I know that I continue to stutter and everything, and honestly, it's a bit of a speech impediment that I have. Uh, honestly, from probably even just being nervous. <laughs> so, um, Also, just a quick little video update at the end of this. I just want to share something real quick, so let me grab these few items and I'll show you what I have in store, so, one sec. So the items that I recently found while cleaning my room, and I'm still doing that, by the way, I'm almost done, so, uh, that would be pretty cool. So, I found some items that I'm going to be using for some upcoming stop motions. Um, this is from a laser reflector sort of game thing. I'm not sure what it was called, I can't remember. Um, but this was from a laser, uh, laser game, and I'm going to be using this as some sort of Maybe an engine part to an Autobot ship or a Decepticon ship or some sort of power source of some sort. Maybe, yeah, just an engine part or something. Um, not for Dark of the Moon, of course. Just something in general as some sort of artifact that can be used to siphon power or, you know, something like that. 
So I'm actually going to have props and everything in my stop motion. I just need to find a way to create a city and everything like that. That's going to be a pain, but I can do it. I'm pretty sure I can do it. So there's my first one. The next one is going to be a potential spoiler uh, as well. I'm not sure how this is going to come across on a stop motion, really. But this is the Titanium series uh, Autobot Arc that I might use as some sort of escape ship or anything. Um, maybe have to find a way to make it bigger on screen, but as you can see, this is the arc, which is going to be pretty cool. I can't really wait to use this. This is actually going to be pretty cool to use. So, I might have to like have it closed up shot like that. I'm not sure. So, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, and the next thing I found was army dudes, as well as my human alliance figures, which are in another bag. But I found some humans and everything that I could use in the army. Um... I might have to go to the dollar store and probably buy some more, just because I really want a big amount of army and everything, a lot of humans dying in my stop motion, and, uh, yeah. Plus, I need to get another tank and some jeeps and trucks and everything, so that's going to be pretty cool. And the last artifact, um, slash prop, is a major, major tease slash spoiler. It's a cyber planet key from Transformers Cybertron, mainly the Gigantion one. I had two of them. I'm lucky to find one. Um, so, yeah, this is also going to be seen in the stop motion, and I may honestly use this as the Omega key based on War for Cybertron, or, um, something like that, because honestly, this looks like, I mean, it kind of looks like the key from War for Cybertron that could be used to unlock the power of Omega Supreme. Now, sadly, I don't have Omega Supreme. But what I do have is Metroplex and Devastator, and there is no limitation of which side this can be used to unlock. So honestly, this key can be used to unlock good and evil, like, stuff. As long as they have the Omega key, you know, they have the power to unlock anything. Um, so yeah. So there are my props, there's my update. Again, I apologize for any stuttering or any blank moments where I just look off to the camera or something. I'm not used to looking into the camera. And honestly, I'm a bit nervous recording each and every time. So yeah, guys, there are all my props. There's my update. And once again, please go ahead and go check out Alex Pick. He made his first official YouTube video. He's up to six subscribers. And he will soon be voicing in Transformers Infinite Chaos and Combiner Origins, as well as the stop-motion Transformers, The Rise of an Empire. Uh, I can't remember the YouTuber, but go check that out. That, looks, uh, that actually looks really cool. Uh, so yeah. So I'm officially signing out this time. So guys, be sure to get addicted, stay addicted, and TF Addicts for life. This is TF81024, the Transformers Addict, officially signing out.